What's up, guys? It's your boy, Rockabella864, in the Hacienda once again. It's time for another food review. Kind of a local establishment today. Not as local, local as the one that we did the other day. That was small time local. This is a big time local. Smithfield's Barbecue and Chicken. Now, you can only find this in North Carolina. Okay? But we are in Lumberton, North Kakalaka tonight. And uh, this particular company has about 100 or so restaurants. They're all located in the state of North Carolina. And they're like from like Greensboro East, I guess you would say. Uh, so if you like go to Asheville, North Carolina, we'll, we'll, uh, Brockabelli, where's the, well, it's not that far west, okay? It looks like about Greensboro East is where you're gonna find these. Now I know some wise ass in the comment section will tell me there's actually one in Winston-Salem, whatever. Okay, it's it's on this side of the state. And I ate it one, one time, um, probably about eight, nine months ago on the way to Greenville, North Carolina. And it was okay. I dug it. And I, that one was in Raleigh. This one here in Lumberton actually looks newer than that one was. So uh, we'll see if the food tastes better. I, I don't know. Um, this one has a rating of about three and a half stars over on Yelp. And of course, we're going to rate this one on the fat scale as usual. Speed, friendliness, the appearance of the food and the taste of the food. Let's go over to Yelp real quick and see what those folks had to say Suzanne about it. Suzanne L with the four piece review says barbecue is very good, sides are okay. Service was very disappointing. Lady delivered our food, basically slapped plate down and splashed all over my husband and she didn't even acknowledge. Then I asked for more barbecue sauce and the attitude she gave me was beyond rude. In all, the meat was pretty good and the sides are okay, but her service was terrible. Four, you got a four for that? You're a lot easier on them than me, lady. Kathy B. spitting out the two-piece. Customer service is excellent. However, you can't eat customer service. The food was weird. I got a large barbecue plate. The barbecue tasted very gamey. And potato salad was more like potato soup. Don't do it to yourself. The hush puppies were the only thing edible, and they weren't very tasty either. Mm, yeah, well, not too good. And Stacy A. says, first time eating here while on a trip. Went through drive through had the shrimp. It was okay. Tasted very fast foodish. Well, I mean, but my husband went all out and was pleased with his barbecue. Well, your boy, your husband's really living on the edge eating barbecue at a place that has a barbecue in the. Never mind. All right, well, that's kind of a mixed bag. So we'll see what this place has to offer. Doesn't look too busy, so they should do pretty well in the speed category. Let's head on over to Smithfields, guys. 7.29 p.m. and uh, entering the line behind no one. Smithfields, are we ready? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get your uh, large chicken tender plate. And um, I'd like to substitute more hush puppies for the potato salad, please. More hush puppies, what are the papers out? Anything else? Um, that's going to be all. 1144, second one. Um, I'm sorry, can I get a large sweet tea? You sure can. Anything else? That'll be all. That's going to be 1485, second one. All right. I'm good. How are you? Ranch or honey mustard? Uh, I'll take honey mustard, please. All right. 1485. I make it so hard. Let me get your receipt and you on card. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's find a place to park and uh, we'll go on ahead and talk about it. Yeah, there's no real reason to even stop this video. This place is not, uh, not particularly packed. So finding a spot to park out of the heat. 
and eat, eat out of the heat. Should not prove difficult. There we go. All righty, guys. Well, what'd you think about that? Um, tough. speed. I there's uh there's no uh nothing else that I could give you. You're getting a five all day, man. If I could give you a six, I would. I mean, my God, I, mean, I was right here. Boom, ordered over there. Boom, I even had time to turn this video off. Now that can be kind of uh, misleading, though, because it le it is misleading because it leads me to believe that this food has probably been prepared for a while, like it was just sitting there baking under the warmer, right? It's just like it was kicked back in its lounge chair under the warmer, just soaking up the rays, mm -hmm, all the time, losing tastiness, mm, losing juiciness, and losing freshness. <laughs> that's exactly what it was doing. Oh, that's drunk money me drying shit. But we'll see. We'll see anyway. All right, what did we get for our value? It, it, this place is a little bit pricey. Not too bad, but yeah. And I know what you're going to say. Well, Rock Valley, why didn't you get the barbecue? Well, yeah, you know what? Um, there's plenty of other opportunities we can get barbecue next time. I happen to like chicken tenders. Sue me. It's the kid in me, I guess. Uh, and I, I really not like a huge fan of North Carolina style barbecue. So um, there's that. But it's not, I mean, I, I will eat it. Oh, trust me. I mean, I'll eat it. You know me. I mean, besides my big gut, I'll eat anything. So, uh, for the large tender plate coleslaw with, uh, I guess, extra hush puppies because they offer um, potato salad, and that's not my jam. I mean, it's okay. I mean, but, like, if it comes with egg, I really can't, I, I can't, I, I don't like eggs. But, I mean, if it's potato salad without egg in it, and it's just creamy, uh, and, I mean, I kind of dig that, but uh, I don't want to ask them, do you potato salad with cold eggs and be like Karen? So, you know, I'm not doing that. So fourteen eighty five for that. This tea was three dollars, man. Three bucks for that tea. Uh, all right, friendliness. Uh, the girl was really nice at the window. Uh, kind of came off kind of not rude and abrasive, but just kind of like don't know what I want to ready at the horn right there. So I didn't know it was the same person at the horn that was at the window. So that being said, I'm gonna give you a four on your friendliness. She was real nice. Call me baby too. They they all call you baby up here. You don't get that at home. They're not that nice. All right, I'm just gonna try this big sweet tea. Now this is a large. We went to Hip Burger the other day, right? And I got a large drink. That thing wasn't no large. That was false advertising. I ain't sue you for false advertisement. This is large. Mm. That is good. That is delicious sweet tea. Like that. All right. Let's grab the box and see what we got going on here. This is your chicken tender plate from Smithfields. Uh, how's this thing gonna look? Hmm. I mean, not bad, right? I mean, we get one, two, three. I mean, there are three big pieces. I mean, look at that. I mean, that one's like, it's pulling down. It's pulling my hand down a little bit. It's weighting me down. So uh, there's a lot of food here. And they did give me extra hush puppies. Definitely gave me extra three here, three little pups, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pups here. So it's like they really piled them on. Yeah. So, let's get into it a little bit. Um, so what do we think here? What are we thinking, thinking? I mean, these appear to be, they look to be done really crispy. I mean, they look good. The hush puppies are a little bit overcooked. I, I'm going to give you a four on your appearance. I can't 
can't give you a five. Those are a little bit overcooked. A little bit overcooked. It's hard to get a five, honestly, from uh, Rockabelly on your appearance. I think Hip Burger actually got a five on the appearance the other day, though. Yeah, they did. Don't judge me for that either. All right. A little honey mustard dipping sauce action. Let's hit this coleslaw one time. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Got the just just a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. Got a little sweet kick. It's kind of... I think we could have shredded that up a little finer than that, I think. This might come in a bag, though. It might come in a bag. I bet it comes in a bag. <laughs> That's deformed looking. Got split butt. Then I split personalities, it's got split butt. That actually looks like, well, never mind. Let's get into it. I, I don't, nah. I don't want y'all to see me eat. No, nah, I'll eat that at home. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and sweet. A little crispy. Dump that. Those are good. Outstanding. No. Good. Yes. Let me grab this chicken up. Chicken tender. She looks good. She looks tender. Let's see how it tastes. The skin falling off. Mm. Without that crust, mm. and one more with the sauce. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna give them a three on their taste. I mean, and it, this is not, you know, to taint the review. It's just that that chicken is a little dry, as I kind of suspected. I mean, we really got waited on quick here today, and you know, their their speed, and there's their speed, there's good speed, and then there's speed just because you know everything's already prepared. And that's not always necessarily great. Uh, I would have still probably given you a five on speed if it took another two minutes. Um, so three on your taste. A hush puppy were sweet. They were they were good in that sense, but um, yeah, too crunchy for me. I mean, I, I should have had a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a of a gentle, dainty bite there. Uh, than that, that was more uh, almost like potato chip consistency. So I didn't care for that. And that chicken was not, I mean, it's not flavorful. 
It's not flavorful at all. Um, a lot of breading, a lot of breading on that tender. Zaxby's, uh, you know, they go over the, you go over there. They don't have a lot of breading on those tenders. But they're seasoned up. They're they are fire. They're good. I really dig those. Um, these, you know, I, I can live without them. For fifteen dollars, I mean, I think this is. I, I'm I'm of the opinion now that it is overpriced. I was just kind of you know. And I did have a barbecue the time that I ate here before at another Smithfields. And I was a little bit higher on it than I was on this chicken. So if I'm going to be coming back here for chicken again. Um, so the fries, I have tried their fries before and they are, they're not good. They're like, you hold it up. I mean, it immediately just goes down like this it's impotent fry. Yeah, impa fry, not good at all. So that being said, we got nine, we got 13, we got 16. I have a four. This Smith feels getting a four. So it's not bad. I mean, I would definitely recommend stopping one time and giving it a chance, but it's not someplace that you know i'd have to go every friday night I'd go, oh god i gotta go get my smithfields fix in oh boy i'm in lumberton i gotta go to smithfields nah it ain't that it ain't that it's just here so guys hope you enjoyed that that's a review if you enjoyed it please hit it with a thumbs up please consider subscribing to this channel i would appreciate it i will see you guys on the next go around peace and i'm out of here